in a world crying out for a top 10 show. John Roca and Matt Nost are here. So grab your assigned seat, sit back, and enjoy this week's top 10. Brought to you by the Schmoes No Network. Take it away, boys. Welcome, everybody, to the Thunderdome. Thunderdome. Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to go lower. The Thunderdome. Thunderdome. <laughs> <laughs> this for this week. Uh, this is the top ten show. I'm John Roca. I'm Matt Nost. Uh, and we had two awesome cat- uh, films to choose from this week. Yes, we both went- '80s classics. Back in time, uh, GI Joe the movie versus, versus Transformers the movie. Hoorah! Daddy they finally stupid. made the leap. They, we, we what from TV show? Yes, to their first movie. That's right. And we thought, well, let's go back in time. Let's go back to our childhoods. And uh, see which film you guys picked. And you guys chose Transformers the movie. I uh, wasn't even close. Well, not even close. There was a push for G.I. Joe, and then it got snuffed the fuck out. Right, completely. And look, of the two, Transformers is the better movie. Okay. Uh, you've not seen G.I. Joe the movie? I've not seen G.I. Joe the movie. It's fucking... It is just a shameless, we have new toys. Oh, okay. It is. They, they introduce a whole bunch of characters that... These types of characters have never existed in the G.I. Joe universe. Right. Now they're dealing with like supernatural kind of forces. Yes. They're not really supernatural, but they're like these people that have been around for eons, and they're, they want to change the world through these spores to turn them into snake people, but they're kind of snake people-ish, and you're like, what, what the fuck is going on with G.I. Joe? <laughs> Whereas Transformers was a movie of we've got new toys, but the, at least these toys fit in with our world. Listen, I, watched, I haven't seen it in 10 years, I think, Transformers the movie. And a lot has changed in my life since I've seen that movie. And so to see it again, all I thought to myself was, I should be high watching this. I should not be watching this sober. Because there is so much lunacy happening in this movie that is like, what the fuck? It's just a... shark a I mean, why? <laughs> Please, the Astro Train? Yeah, the Astro Train. Why, do they, why does the train turn into a jet? But then why do they have to get on a train? Yeah. Because that's what I love about the Transformers world. They seamlessly go from the ability to fly to not fly. Yeah. It like switches on and off. Like some of them can transform into jets. That's fine. Yeah. But other guys are cars or like Megatron, who's a pistol. Yeah. Can suddenly just kind of fly through Earth's atmosphere, and there's no propulsion. There's no real reason why. Right. So you see all that, and like, so when they get on Astro Train, which, by the way, spoiler alert for a movie. Oh, that came for out God's sake! Yeah, I mean, shit. I mean, if you're listening to this without having seen the movie, what the fuck are you doing? But thank you for the download. Yes, once again, as always, there. Thank you for the download. Thank you for the watch on iTunes or Stitcher. Appreciate it all. Right. But so, like, they have a mutiny, which is like uh, they got to cut weight. Yeah. So uh, Starscream is like, well, we should just... Who votes for getting rid of all the <laughs> fucking non-able-bodied? And they push him out. They're like, what are we going to do? Just like, well, you don't breathe oxygen, so yeah. you're fine. Right. You seamlessly fly through our atmosphere, so I'm guessing you can figure something out in space. Yeah. You're still alive, so I don't I don't know why this is a death sentence for you. I'm sure right. you're going to make it. Right. But somehow it is. It's just I don't, the... the rules they set up for themselves don't even fucking apply no 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 it's fantastic well it's it's interesting to film because you take the reason i would imagine people this film was made is because the tv show was so great and people well i mean great in a relative term people love the tv show right kids grew i grew up with it i watched it every morning gi joe too i watched every morning before i went to went to school or after school it would show and so i loved watching the shows um, so I imagine they make the movie because you want to take these characters into the next realm. So what do they do? They kill off Optimus Prime within the first 10, 15 minutes of the movie. Then they kill off Megatron yeah. within the first 10, 15 minutes. Replace him, make him Galvatron, and then make him be voiced by Leonard Nimoy, not Frank Welker. So they fucked Frank Welker and Peter Cullen to a degree about their main characters throughout this through, uh, in this film. Because, like... Look, it's, it was literally a, we have new toys. <laughs> We're trying to squeeze... 
We've seen what Star Wars can do with a movie as opposed to a TV show. Yeah. And we'd like to sell Star Wars level right. toys. So let's make a movie. Was there a Unicron, a Unicron toy? Uh, I mean, it might have been one of those, like, there's five Toys R Us's in the U.S. They're yeah. doing giveaways. Yeah. Kind of. I don't, I don't remember any kid having them. That's my favorite character in this whole movie is Unicron. A, because it's voiced by Orson Welles. And, really? That's your favorite oh, one? Oh, yeah. And B, when he changes, he's so massive. I love that. I mean, that. granted... Judd Nelson does <laughs> one Rod. of the worst voiceovers I've ever heard. I didn't. I forgot it was that bad watching it for yeah, this week. Yeah. I mean, he just it doesn't even fucking care. It's like he, they give him the action. Hey, this is what you're going to be doing. He just reads it however the fuck he wants to. Yeah. It's just it's so awful. Well, Whereas everybody else, started, like Robert Stack's good. Uh, so many it's interesting good. people in this movie. Yeah. Robert Stack. Uh, like you, were, uh, Eric Idle. Eric Idle, right? His weird little trash planet. Uh, yeah, the Transformer. Only learned to talk, you know, from watching TV. Which yeah, is, you know, Bumblebee does it later in the movies yeah. from the radio. Right. And then you know, so many interesting. And then you, uh, like you said, Leonard. Like we said, Leonard Nimoy, Judd Nelson, uh, a bunch of other character actors who I've seen a number of things, adding voices. And then one of the famous uh, voiceover actresses and teachers. Uh, in L.A. before she passed, Sue Blue. She played R.C. And Sue okay. Sue taught many, many voiceover people. She's written many books about voiceover. If you want to get into voiceover, you should pick up her books. Her books are still great and still informative. Even though they're a bit dated, the technique is still effective that she teaches. So it was it was fun to, to see those voices popping up and voices. I mean, I mean Scatman Crothers is always great as jazz. Oh, yeah. Casey Scatman's Kaysen. got a great voice for yeah, doesn't he? voiceover. I don't know, Optimus. We try to find him. And then, uh, uh, and then Casey Kasem showing up every once in a while. It's great. It's such interesting voices, you know, to 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 do this. So, but for such a fucking worth worthless script, yeah. yeah. Uh, like even as far as the Transformers go, this thing doesn't make a whole hell of a lot of sense. It doesn't make a lot of sense at all. No, man. they just keep like somehow float from world to world, and everybody catches up with each other, and yeah. then just kind of, and we end up here. And they're terrible shots. I, mean, I know that's honestly. I was thinking that too. It's just terrible like shots. you have. You're a computer. Yeah, you're, you're a computer. Anthropomorphized computer, right? And you are a fucking terrible shot. Yeah, like shouldn't you have some sort of calculations going on, a tracking system, some some yeah. shit? Like I would believe it if the other the people they were shooting at or the 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 robots they were shooting at the trans other transformers. Uh, we're analyzing the trajectory of the shots because yeah, they're moving out of the well, way and moving out of the no, way. No, they're just standing. But they're there. just standing there <laughs> because they're apparently like really not agile at all. They're not, which kind of makes sense. These yeah, big hulky machines, but then you see them do other things and be like, "Well, you did this other shit." Yeah. So it seems like you could have been able to not fall on your face like a ninety-year-old man. Yeah. Like there is a bunch of that, and like when they go for jokes and shit, and yeah. the little kid is obnoxious, it really is trying to learn how to use his suit, and I would be just like dad. <laughs> well, maybe your dad shouldn't have been hanging out with these robots. You know what I mean? He got himself into an intergalactic war that he shouldn't have been a part of. Yeah, I love how he tells uh, that uh, that uh, Autobot in the beginning, say hi to my son, tell him I'll be home soon. Yeah, I'm out. I'm out in space in the middle of an intergalactic war. That's a bad sign. <laughs> it's a, a bad, bad sign. sign. Exactly. You're in a war that you can't win ever. Yeah. Maybe they can, and you can assist. You right. know what I mean? You can reload a clip or some shit like that. Yeah. Like, that's basically what you're. You're the, the guy that runs and gets ammo in the Matrix. Yeah. That's the best of your ability. Well, I think this was, was one of the interesting things about the movie, because you, you see the progression of uh, the relationship between Starscream and Megatron. Like, Starscream, throughout the whole TV series, is constantly, like... Oh, yeah, nipping undercutting, Yeah, uh -huh. nitpicking, undercutting Megatron. Though, and now he finally gets a chance to get rid of Megatron. And his joy with which he's doing that, the... the, the, <laughs> the oh, well. And he's like, uh, no, I'm... It's almost like a Monty Python moment when he's like, I'm feeling better. Megatron's like, yeah. I'm still functioning. Not like, dead yet. <laughs> and he's like, I'm still functioning. And he goes, not... That's what you think. And then throws him out the... Throws him out the door. I'm like, this is insane. This is insane, you know? And But it's it's a, su it's a sweet... Like, I don't know where this is happening in relation to Earth. Do you know what I'm saying? Well, like, they go like there's a moon. There's two moon bases that are... Yeah. Are they on the outskirts of Earth or something? Are some they in shit? our solar system? If they're I in think our, so. What is, wouldn't, wouldn't Unicron just randomly flowing through the universe throw off like the fucking waves? And oh, yeah, the gravi the, gravity? The chaser pull, yeah. yeah, it would. That's what I'm saying. It would. I don't know how much uh, it would affect just... It's larger than a planet. Yeah. 
So what are we saying is the average size of a planet? I don't know, because then right. that'll determine its gravitational pull. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I love it. Like halfway through the movie, some of the Transformers, the good guys, figure out that the, his name is Unicron. Yeah. And be like, listen, if there's a fucking Transformer that is bigger than a planet, everybody knows his name. Yeah. Everybody knows his name. When they were like, what's his name? Unicron. Well, it's good that we know his name. It's like bullshit. <laughs> everybody knows his name. You can forget like Bebop over here or Skeetle Doot <laughs> or whatever the fuck bullshit little one yeah. or the one that was like uh, uh, that helped the um, sound wave. No, the, the dinosaur ones later. Oh, Blanking Dinobots. Up. Yeah, the Dinobots. Yeah. But the the one character that was jumping around like landing on the T-Rex's nose and oh, stuff yeah, later yeah, on, they're yeah. like, he friend. <laughs> like, I understand we don't know his name. Yeah. That's fine. He's a pipsqueak in their world. Yeah. This thing is bigger than all of them. Right. That's you know his fucking name. It's, it's, but it's a, it's a film that, like, I'm telling you, if I was high, I'd have loved this film, like, even more, because the, even that sequence with the little heads going around and speaking. That part is great. I still like that awesome. part. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It's such a great little, but it feels thing. It's so strange. It feels like that was part of another script. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. They just like, hey, this is a cool idea. Let's just fit it in here. Yeah. And because we need to fill 10 minutes. You know, I think, I think you're right, Matt, because you see there's a lot of black frames in this movie. Like it fades to black. I know. It's like a TV show. It's almost made like a TV movie. Yeah. 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 Just straight up. And then it cuts right back to the exact same action. Exactly. And be like, there was no commercial break, guys. <laughs> Not at all. It's just I don't know why. We need to do this. At least when Lucas does it, it's to fade into something else. It right. does a star wipe, and you're like, "All right, that's fine." Yeah, you can accept that. Yeah, so it was, yeah, it's it's it's, but it it still was enjoyable as hell. It made me really excited uh, again to enjoy the property. I, I just lo- I love Transformers. I really do. For whatever reason, you you ignore the ridiculous plot lines or weird kind of stories, or the the uh, complete makes no sense how this happens here at this time in this way stuff that they have in there but because uh, the whole film is essentially a war the whole film oh, yeah. is a war with occasional but moments that was every breaths. tv show was a war yeah 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 i mean listen i i don't fault it for being inane right because it never had any goal other than to be inane and sell toys and sell toys right that's you're right. it you're right whereas michael bay is actually trying to make a decent movie i'm sure he's not trying to make you know, an all-time Godfather classic. Right. But he's trying to make a good action film. Yeah. And he fails at it. Like, Spectacularly so. I love the idea of Transformers still. That's yeah. why you could still sell me, like, they're making another one. Be like, they could get it right eventually. <laughs> That's what everybody thinks. They could. That's why they go to see it. I, it's just they have failed now Yeah, every fucking time. Yeah, pretty I much. I don't like a single one of them just because I can sit there and nitpick and, and destroy it in my mind. Oh, yeah. And, like, it's fun. There are great scenes within every single one of those movies, that, but the, the movies themselves as a whole don't hold up. But there are really great scenes, usually with Optimus Prime uh, as the central person in those scenes. The stuff where he fights the Dinobots in the fourth one, I, I enjoy the shit out of that. It took so long to get there. Well, yeah, it did. It, it took, took so forever to get, to get there. there. You're so right. You're so they brought right. in all these those those cursory ancillary characters yeah. that you kind of cared about but didn't really fucking care about. The John Goodman, yeah, who got a yeah. ton of screen time. Yeah, to pay off for what? Yeah, yeah. They yeah. help him in like one battle and be like, we could have condensed it down to these guys just show up to help. Yeah, then again, it made a billion dollars. So it did. What it, we well, know? it did well internationally. It did, it did. crazy right. well internationally. That's why they said it in China or whatever, because they knew their, Makes their sense. bread was buttered. Yeah. 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 And when Stanley Tucci is doing shameless product placement, I mean, fucking shameless. I don't know where he's drinking something. It looks like he's holding it up just perfectly and drinking out of it a way you never would. And be like, all right, this is... I don't fault you guys. I understand production. Yeah. This is expensive. Yeah. But you know it's going to make money. I, I kind of, I in my mind, when I see moments like that, I kind of think the actor's in on the joke and is like, fuck it. I'm in this instance, this oh, yeah, paid. 100%. Yeah, yeah. They knew when they were signing up yeah. beforehand, hey, you're going to have to do something like this. Like when that there was a big sequence and there was an open Bud Light. Oh, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The fucking truck overturns and then Mark Wahlberg grabs and it looks now now we're literally in a commercial with Transformers. Yeah, that's all it is. That's true. And it lasts for like 10 seconds. Yeah. And then just like, "Oh, you know what cools me off when I'm done fighting murder robots? Fucking Pilsner." <laughs> and just it's like, "Okay, Mark." But I think that's the goal of every one of these every one of these films is to make a dollar. Is yes. to make a dollar is to sell toys. I think that's um just from having interactions with some of my friends who worked at Hasbro before. It's very much from the top. Like, whatever you do, do whatever you want to do with the movies or whatever you create. 
just make those find those moments to do product placement and find those moments to push toys. Oh yeah, well, everything, including the Michael Bay movies, it's in there. Well, I'm sure it's there's a, a lot of influence from Hasbro. It'll be like, here are the two characters that we like. Right, right, right. That we've made a cool mock up of. Yeah. Put it in the movie. Put them in the movie. Here's somehow. here's what it does. It turns into this. Yeah. And it fits perfectly because we're going to choose something you're going to more than likely use anyway, like a military attack, cop, a yeah. helicopter, or something like that. Yeah. What was fascinating though about this film, though, Matt, is it's a pretty dark film for a kid's property. There's a lot of death. There's a lot of trying to kill. Uh, Omicron. No people died. No, no people die. And so it's robots dying. Right, so but robots not- with personality, with like emotional attachments, True. you know? And Unicron is so, it's such a perfect uh, uh, villain because he, because he is that size. He does not need to be uh, excitable or, um, push, you know, uh, pushing his agenda zealously, twisting his, twirling his mustache. There's none of that. He's a very like... When you push me too far, then I'll send my wave through you and you'll get down to your knees. Yeah. The way he breaks Megatron is kind of so fascinating to watch because Megatron resists him up until the last moment. And even at the last moment, he's, you know, he's real. Oh, he's bucking yeah. until the end. Yeah. It's so funny, man, to watch that stuff. And it's such a great per- performance by by Wells because it's very quiet and it's very subdued and he only shows up at certain moments and when he does it's to say as few words as possible well yeah they got one day's record yeah probably (laughs) and he was money like the first hour when he was just getting through his hangover yeah to a couple hours before he started drinking again stop it you please please i gotta assume wells was shit canned every day for the last whatever years of his life well this was the last uh the last thing he did. Last thing he did before he died. Before he died. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or last thing released, at least, before he died. Yeah, yeah. And so, yeah. So, it's uh, anyway, I enjoyed going back to it. I enjoyed revisiting. I enjoyed the hell out of it. I really did. Revisiting yeah. it. It makes no motherfucking sense, but it's so much fun because these characters are fun. Soundwave is fun. Jazz is fun. Soundwave was my favorite as a kid. Yeah. He's the, one, the only ones that I didn't own. Yeah. And he was the one that I wanted my brother one of his friends had him oh and i was so envious right because it was early on too before he had the four different cassettes it was just oh, yeah. the uh the hawk or not hawk yeah. but pterodactylish bird whatever right. the fuck that one and then the panther one was it it's inside like, his chest yeah you could yep. you could put one tape in and then it would I pop open and you could pull that out and it would transform it I, yeah. that, I thought that was the coolest and i want to say that Soundwave actually worked it probably play, did yeah play a tape out of it or something <laughs> Um, I believe, but I don't know. This is Michael Jackson. Because he didn't, when he transformed, he still had his solid body in the middle. Right. He didn't really do all that much except right. for like his head ducked in and his legs tucked underneath him and yeah. shit like that. Because he became a boombox, right? Yeah. So <laughs> his torso was the tape deck area. So I don't think it really, I, yeah. if memory serves, but I haven't played with one in fucking yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 25 years or some shit. Well, I Probably am one. longer. I am one now. <sighs> <laughs> really? Yeah. You're a Transformer? I am. Uh, my character that I did for Transformers Robots in Disguise, the toys finally came out. My friend got oh. me three oh, of yeah, them. Oh, yeah, yeah, Okay. Yeah, my friend got me three of them. The I thought you were talking about the other thing that's still up in the air. And I was oh, like, oh, no, 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 no. Awful no, no, cocky, you no, son no, of a bitch. No, no, no. <laughs> no. This is for that Springload character that I did in those in Transformers. Yeah, so the a couple of the fans from uh, our show and from other shows like they tweeted me pictures of it in the stores and so i alerted my friend who works at hasbro and he's like i'll get you some and sure enough he he got me three uh three action figures of springload and i sent one to my sister for my ne- nephew and niece to play with one to my mom and then i have one myself so you're putting that in a safety deposit box yeah absolutely storing that away listen when am i ever going to get when to do the I action get assigned, figure again when do i get assigned roca <laughs> Yeah, like you want that. What are you getting, like five bucks every time they sell one? I don't nice, I don't nice get a, royalty on I don't that. They had a dime, son. I don't make a dime out of that. Nah, stuff. sure you don't. I, I for wish. the listeners, I caught that wink. I caught that wink. <laughs> Stop it. Guess dude. what? We talk about free T-shirts on the this Come on. this Thursday show, tomorrow's <laughs> show. Here's uh, maybe we get free T-shirts earlier. This bonus, if you guys go out and buy I wish the I action be. figure, yeah. then we'll have the funds to give you a free T-shirt. Stop it. I don't get a dime from that stuff. I never signed any contract about that stuff. I wish. If I was a if I was Peter Cullen, totally. Oh yeah. You know? Um but yeah, so anyway, that's my feeling about it. I just had a great time going back to it. I enjoy all the different new the new Transformers that were presented. I enjoyed like Ironhide. It was good to see that again and the anger like it was so fun to see how much 
how much of a dad figure Optimus really is in that situation. He has all these Autobots that want to do stuff or get cocky or don't, you know. Yeah. And he only has occasional veterans that calm people down, you know. And But even then, they defer with, like, yeah. the Robert Stack of, yeah. like, I'm no Optimus. Yeah. Even though you have the same commanding presence, you look like basically the same yeah. fucking guy. Yeah. Yeah, I just don't know how you ever kill off Optimus and Megatron. I was so a, surprised. A perfect, it's like He-Man and Skeletor, though I prefer yeah. Skeletor. In uh, Optimus and Megatron, I like them both equally, which is rare. Usually I gravitate towards one or the other, yeah. personally. What about Thundercats? Uh, do you like Mumra or do you like Lionel? I think I like Lionel. <laughs> <laughs> I think I like Lionel. I like Mumra, but I think I like Lionel better. Yeah. <laughs> he was just a fun character. I tried to go back and rewatch those. It was tough. You can't rewatch those. Yeah, it was tough. I, th- I thought they were better than they were. Those are bad, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's really because <laughs> the, the little side character that like He Man brings oh, in later. Yeah, yeah. That's that's from the jump. And I was like, oh, they had this guy. <laughs> I thought this guy came in later. This dude is annoying. I know it could have been darker. Snarf. It could have been, but at the same time, it's made for kids. It's made yeah. to sell toys. Yeah, but Transformers is pretty. The movie was pretty dark, didn't you think? I mean, it's sure. I think it, it's different though because. If they were all human characters oh, dying, I see what you're saying. Because like in GI Joe, nobody ever dies. Right, they just fall off screen, or they, yeah. the explosion happens and they fly out, and yeah. you know you never see any actual gore happen to humans. Yeah. So the fact that it's happening to robots, I think that's yeah, it's disassociative enough yeah. to where you can, I guess, maybe remove yourself a little bit, but at the same time, you still have something tied in with your love of Optimus mm-hmm. and your, I guess, love of Megatron. Yeah. Well, it's so interesting that they turn Hot Rod into Rodimus Prime. Terrible choice. <laughs> Terrible fucking choice. And his Hot Rod was like a made up. At least Optimus yeah. was a real semi. Yeah. That was the other thing was like when they're on the moon base, they still transform into human made devices. Yeah. And be like, guys, why? Why do you have to go through the pretense of transforming to fit into our society so you go unnoticed? Right. Oh, no. <laughs> Just like, a, oh, yeah. It's, we, we're still here to sell toys. Great soundtrack, though. Oh, my Lord. Great soundtrack. Can we talk about that soundtrack? I went, because I've never seen it. I went and looked up the actual video for You Got the Touch. Oh. <laughs> it is really nice. I think the dude's name is Stan Bush. Oh, perfect name. But it's fucking, he's, he is great. Wow. I love that they. Studio mu- musician, for sure. Of course. I love that they threw in uh, Dare to be Weird Al Yankovic's Weird Al yeah. Dare to be Stupid. I did not see that coming at all. Oh, you don't remember that? I don't remember it, man. Oh, that, I remember that. It's been that, that long. And so I was like, well, oh, shit. And, and I mean, there's so much in my head sometimes, man. Sometimes I forget stuff when I'm watching stuff. So like to see that come out, I'm like, is this, am I, I checked my phone to see if I'd hit something and turned on the song on my playlist. Wow. And, you had no recollection. Uh, no. And in then my, when it happened, I was like, oh, shit. In my head, because uh, I watched this a few years ago, mm-hmm. but doing that same thing, I was like, oh, yeah, that song's coming. And I, in my head before... Weird Al started playing. Yeah. I was expecting a Devo song. Oh, right. Because in my head, it was like, oh, yeah, it was like a Devo song or yeah. something right here. And then it was like, oh, no, it's Weird Al. Dare to be stupid. Dee, 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 dee. It's a fucking polka song. What's that got to do with nothing? A, with a war? The battle? whole trash people sequence, that yeah. and the multifaceted head thing yeah. were just crammed in because yeah. they had to flesh out that story a little bit longer. Sometimes I wonder, like, we grew up in the 80s for the, I mean, you know, for the most part. So we have an affinity for that that kind of music in, in those movies, and so I wonder because it's very reminiscent of the of the Rocky uh, Four soundtrack. It's very reminiscent of the staying, oh, yeah. staying Alive soundtrack. It's very reminiscent of these soundtracks that were going on around the same time in the mid to late eighties. That kind of like huge guitar pounding stuff. Well, it was formulaic. It was part of yeah. like you know what uh, uh, the South Park guys made fun of later on, like gotta make a montage. Yeah, exactly. It's like it's such a great joke of so many movies did that. Right. So and you just came came to accept it. Just yeah. like here's what it is. It's a this chugging along guitar part and yeah, yeah, yeah. And here's the accepted solo. It. You almost yeah, you accepted do. it. Every this type of movie needed it, especially yeah. coming out in that time. Just, there were so many rock there's so many songs in this movie. Like uh every little yeah. it's a good every, soundtrack every for war this type of movie. gets a song. Yeah, yeah. Every battle gets a song. It's so interesting, man. And and I didn't anticipate. I, I guess it had been a long. I guess it had been that long since I seen it that I was like, I didn't remember that much about the soundtrack. So to hear it all going, I was like, this is it's still yeah. The when the you got the touch comes up. Oh yeah. And at the end, like you do feel that moment of, 
You got the touch. Just bills. You got the power. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Light our darkest night. (laughs) Yeah, I believe that shit as a kid. I walked out loving that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas, yeah, even as a kid walking out of G.I. Joe, I was like, I I liked it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it was one of those of tentative, like, I'm willing myself to like it because it's G.I. Joe. Right. It's Transformers I walked out of going, that was great. I love that. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I don't know what else we can say about it. I, I totally recommend it. If you haven't seen it in a while, do yourself a favor. Yeah, it's a bad shit, crazy. It totally is. 80s animation movie. Fuck yeah. And it's a blast. It's such a fun time. And so if you want to, you know, if you want to spend an hour and 24 minutes watching it, yeah, knock short. yourself out. Yeah, it's, it's super really short. short. Yeah, um, it's even less than that with if you take away the credits, the end credits. So, um, but yeah, I don't, what else do you want to say about it? Nothing. Um, no. So this week's Thunderdome voting yeah. is open right now. When we are, are we agreeing then? It is going to be yes. Lock, see, stock, and two smoking barrels versus snatch versus snatch. There's your Thunderdome this week. So Thunderdome voting ends Friday, twelve p.m. Pacific Standard Time. <laughs> you have to go to our Facebook page. Yes. Late votes will not count. People Late were votes will not in, count. Yeah, peppering in votes two, three, four days afterwards. Yes. We appreciate you doing that. Absolutely. Fantastic. Thank you. Love seeing the energy. Totally. All of it. I actually have a fun idea for Thunderdome coming up that we discussed off air. We got yes. to set up. You know, it'll take a week to do. A little more interactive with the fans. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Maybe it'll be more fun for you guys. Yeah. So, I mean, love you voting. Just get your damn vote in yeah. before 12 noon Pacific Standard Time, Friday, March, what is that, the 3rd? This Friday? March it, 3rd. Today's the 29th. Yeah, it'll be March 3rd. Third, yes, March third, yes, no, March fourth, March fourth, March fourth, yes, because yes. today's the 29th. yes, March fourth, three four. So there we go. <laughs> Beware those odds; they're coming up, guys. But get your f- fucking votes in by March fourth, twelve p.m. Absolutely, Pacific Standard Time, because it'll be. Uh, it's two good movies that we're gonna have fun talking about. I think I I have an idea as to what will win, mm. but let's see if I'm right. I think this is more up in the air than the last two have been. Yeah. We're trying to make it a little closer so the fans get involved with trying well, it just makes to it more save fun their movie. They've yeah. been runaway, you know, uh, contests at this point. Just yeah. like one is, yeah. other than the first week where we had the trifecta. Yeah. Um, yeah. We'll let's see what happens. We'll see what happens. I had nothing there. My brain, brain was, was like, enough. that sentence. Right, well, you can do that by, like Matt said, uh, voting on the Facebook page. And our Facebook page is the Top 10 Podcast. So find the top 10 podcast with the 10 in numbers, uh, one zero. And so, and then follow us at top 10 show on Twitter for now. I'm trying to change it to top 10 podcast or top 10 pod. We'll see what happens. And we've started an Instagram account. So follow us there at top 10 podcast as well. We're going to put links to the shows. We're going to put, uh, the, our lists, uh, our weekly lists. We're going to put, uh, uh, pictures or of the, fo- of the, mo- of the movies we've spoken about or of the character uh, directors we're talking now, about or actors we're talking about. And you're right now, uh, um, heading chairing, so to speak, the Instagram. I'm trying section. To, yes. Yes. And I appreciate you taking that on. <laughs> what are the chances we're going to have like an Anthony Weiner kind of dick pic scandal? You know there what will mean? be no dick pics. Are on you going to get drunk no. and accidentally put something on the wrong account? I'm just saying, you said it was really easy to switch between accounts. I wouldn't put it on my personal account. Why would I put that on? <laughs> what if you have a third account where you just share with like a lady and you do just have it set to private and only you two can see it? I don't do any of that shit because... I don't even know it's possible. I'm, I'm sure it's possible, but I don't do any of that shit because uh, like uh, that shit always gets found out. I om- I never send anybody naked pictures Yeah, of but anybody, Ever. anybody that hacks like into your account... They're hacking into everybody's, and they're looking for someone famous or looking for something a little more provocative. Sure, but there are websites full of that stuff, like terrible websites of like you know uh, people hacking into other people's accounts. That's there, why you don't Reddit, put, Reddit is full of that. Just shit. Just don't put your face. That's what I'm. Well, okay, fine, but I don't even want to take a chance to take a picture of myself. So you know, I like, and I don't do know that. why I'm no giving you tips. Anyway. Exactly, I don't know why I'm giving you tips because I don't want to see a dick pic. There we go. I'm just making sure. I'm just telling you there won't be one. That no dick pics are going to show there up. There we go. Yeah, I, it's not my thing. So no, there'll be no dick pics showing up on Instagram. <laughs> but right, there will be memes. Off. There will be memes. All the yeah, gen, like anything like that Jen people have yeah, posted on Facebook or Twitter yeah. or anywhere else. It's a it's a good place to just collate it all and put it in one area. Yeah, yeah. So or follow us because because I mean it'll be it'll it'll, it'll you'll enjoy following us because we're gonna, we're gonna post a lot of stuff like that. So yeah. 
time. All That's right. it. Thanks for tuning into Thunderdome. Thank yeah. you for voting. For yes. those of you that voted, it was a nice turnout. Yes, thank you. Uh, and if you're listening to this on YouTube or iTunes or Stitcher, um, and no, we are not on SoundCloud, um, you can only vote on Facebook. So join the Facebook page and you can right. just you can interact there. All you have to do is like it. Yeah. It's literally a click. If you give us a vote somewhere else, we will not count that vote. Yeah. And if you can't find it, tweet me or text me. Or not text me, but tweet me or... Make a comment in the YouTube section, and we will give you the link. Or send John a dick pic, you know? and you will get all of it back in one photo. Please. Unless, <laughs> unless it's Dick Van Dyke or Dick Nixon, don't send me no dick pics. So that's a good pick, though. I'll take Dick Van Patten even, but I won't take any more. What if you got all three in one picture? Hello. It's a lot of dicks. <laughs> it's a lot of dicks. <laughs> dick, dick, dick. Suck, suck, suck. Dick, dick, dick. How many We're dicks is that? We're closing with that. How many dicks is that? A I don't lot. know. It's a lot. <laughs> all right. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.